Hey guys, it's Dave Mate, and today we're going to be talking about making yerba mate with a teapot. Now what I have here is just a standard teapot. It's about 24 ounces. Uh, you could get a teapot like this from anywhere, Amazon.com, Adagio.com. I mean, you could probably even get one like this at Target or Kmart. It's just a basic ceramic teapot. I got this one at Adagio.com about five, six years ago. It's pretty good. It's last to me. It's ceramic. So let's get started. You just get your teapot and you take out the, the, the strainer out of the teapot. This little mesh strainer right here, stainless steel. Uh, and go ahead and just put that in a regular mug like that. Then grab some of the finest sherba mate in the world. I'm using Ascension right now. It's a Paraguayan sherba mate. I found that it's very good for uh, making press mate out of a French press or even mate out of a teapot. So since this is 24 ounces, I'm going to put four heaping tablespoons. You're going to want to use about eight ounces for, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to want to use about one heaping tablespoon for every eight ounces. Now this is only about 24 ounces, but I'm going to put four because I like my mate strong. So I'm going to put an extra heaping tablespoon. Now this is technically a teaspoon. Uh, so I put four heaping teaspoons, but you could put a tablespoon. Uh, just don't use too much with a tablespoon. Just try to do a regular tablespoon if you could use that. Then what you're going to want to do is use some dummy water to temper the mate. So here I have some water. Uh, it's just pretty much room temperature water. It's been slightly heated. Not brought to a boil. I'm just going to pour that in. Fill that up. Just so it goes right over the top of the mate. And I'm going to let that sit for about 30 seconds to one minute. Uh, the purpose for doing this is to temper the mate, open it up a little bit before we add it to the hot water. And that will help protect the vital nutrients of the mate. Uh, and essentially it'll prevent it from being burned when we add the regular water that's about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we'll let that sit. Be right back. All right, so that's been sitting for about a minute or so. I actually took the top of the teapot right here and just put it on top of this uh, just to contain a little bit, maybe create a little bit of humidity to help uh, better absorb the water with the leaves. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my teapot, take out this sherba right here that's been tempering with dummy water. Right here is your dummy water right there. You can add that on top. And then what you want to do is go ahead and grab your proper, properly heated water that's been brought up to about 175 degrees, 180 degrees Fahrenheit maximum. And go ahead and just top this off. Nice and slow. Let it uh, percolate. Let the mate do its job. You guys are creating the most powerful drink on the planet. Tons of nutrients, minerals, saponins, anti-inflammatory effects, anti-obesity effects. Uh, you know, lowers your cholesterol, lowers your high blood pressure, regulates glucose levels for type 2 diabetes. It's been shown to destroy cancer cells in vitro. I mean, the list goes on. Improves memory, improves REM cycles, REM sleep, decreases lactic acid when you're working out. You guys who are working out, go to the gym, do yoga. Improves your well-being. You know, that's the theobromine, theophylline. Vasodilation opens up your lungs, opens up, opens up your pupils, helps circulate blood. It literally cleans your blood with all the chlorophyll inside of it. This drink is just... Amazing. It's the drink beyond a drink. The drink of the gods. I mean, I just can't say enough good things about it. Those are just some of the health benefits, but there's a lot of interpersonal benefits, social benefits. Brings you together with your family, friends. Opens you guys up. Opens up the heart. Powerful, powerful herb. Yerba mate. It's an herb. It's a plant from South America. You cannot go wrong drinking it. So you fill that up. I really fill that up. I brought that right up to the top. You can see the foam 
those are the saponins and the tannins coming up to the top. See, I really filled it up. It's going to overflow a little bit, but that's okay. I'll let it overflow a little bit, no problem. And I'm going to let that sit for about, let's say, four minutes. Four to five minutes, I'll let that sit, and we'll come right back. All right, folks, so it's been about five minutes or so uh, of this mate that has just been brewing in here. Uh, so it's done. That's pretty much it. You just got yourself a teapot, got yourself some good mate in there. You let it brew for about um, five minutes, four minutes, and that's it. So what I like to do is just, you know, take out the, the actual sherba, squeeze it in, squeeze the rest of the mate in, get all that strength, nutrients, amino acids, minerals, squeeze it all back in, set that aside, put the top back on, and uh, salud. Look at that beautiful color, beautiful amber color. This is a nice medium body it came out to. Uh, let's try it out, guys. There you go. You can see the perfectly brewed mate, absolutely no uh, leaves, nothing. It's nice and viscous. You know, you can see some of just the strength, the, the nutrients in there. The water is almost sort of like a syrup, syrupy consistency. Can I say it tastes amazing? Okay, bueno, okay, rico. So this is circle of drink, guys. This is what we're doing. This is our flag right here. I'm just honored to be a part of this mate community that's been going on just for a few short years. Uh, but we've done a lot of work. We've uh, done a lot of uh, powerful things in the mate community just over the past couple of years, working together, helping to share the power of mate. Mate is a way of life for us. It's not just an herb. Uh, check us out at circleofdrink.com. Uh, you can contact us there. Uh, but if you want to join our online community, you know, we have an ongoing forum, ongoing uh, Facebook page where we're just talking to each other all day. Go to facebook.com slash circleofdrink or just type in circle of drink on, on uh, Facebook and I'm sure you'll find some of us. All right, guys, this is Dave Mate signing out. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you. It's been an honor sharing this video with you. And remember, you could always drink mate from a teapot or from a French press or, of course, from a traditional gourd. Take it easy. Ciao.